The views, comments, and opinions of the following program do not necessarily reflect those of Morris Media Studios, MorrisMediaLive.com, or its affiliates. Listener discretion is advised. I can hear you, LP. I can't even hear myself. <laughs> I can hear you, LP. So we can hear you loud okay. and clear. Well, welcome back to the Only Hip Hop Show with the Only Hip Hop Squad. Squad. We are missing somebody. We about to pimp slap the shit out of Sean August, but we got the <sighs> lyrical renegade Leron Pierce in the building. You know what I mean? Then you got the lovely Aisha, Aisha Nubia. Hey. From what it do, Nubia. Hey, 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 hey. Leron, run that. Uh, yeah, run that instrumental back. I just kind of want to vibe with that real quick. You feel me? Because this is a... We trying to usher in the spirit for next week. We want to get money. You know, we want to do as many productive things as possible so we can reach our goals next week. That's what we ushering in. You feel me? So just vibe. What you say, El Pizzo? Why is I vibe? Of course. Of course. You feel me? Hey, get money. So we got the lovely uh, Devin Kelly outside of me. She's going to be interviewed in just a second. Yes, we have you know I mean? Houston's own. Houston's own Devin Kelly. Oh, Lord, huh? Now, like LP said, we're going to have to get on Sean and his punctuality. But I can't get on him too what tough, y'all. Fuck, now, I was late last week, LP. So, you know. But you you were already on the show, so you're good. So. Uh-huh. Well. So you good. I'm talking about Sean. He, he knows. <laughs> he knows we're supposed to be here. So. Sean, I tried to start you out, but El Pizzle was not cutting you notes. <laughs> nah, but, nah, but Sean's cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, he'll be in just a second. But, you know what I mean? You got, of course, you know. So, uh. Let's talk about this real quick. Uh, What's up, El Pizzle? There's, there's some issues. That's oh wait, going do on. we pray first? Do we keep the same tradition going on? Do we all pray? Right, do all we? Right, all right, all right. El Pizzle, go. Bow your heads and close your <laughs> eyes. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Mm-hmm. Thank you for everything that you've done for us for this far. And let's just let us allow us to have this great show with our amazing guests. And, yes. And our and us. And as hosts, just to let's just keep on. Let's just help us just keep in focus and keep our minds, our eyes open for our prize to, you know, because one day we're going to blow up right on on your will, you know. And um, I just hope that we all just get along because this violence is really it's really crucial. We just I just saw. Amen. El Pizzo. Amen. Amen. (laughs) <laughs> no, because I was actually going to get into I it. love your spirit. You so real, though. You so but you was getting thing. deep, like praying for the city and all that. Right, but here's the I thing. Love it. Because I just saw a video of somebody, you know, a, a little kid running around with a backpack. And there's these, um, and the cops was, um, they had like a lot of, they had AK-47s on this dude. Mm. People were thinking that he was a, he was a suspect. 
they had they had him they had him they had all gun they had him on gunpoint, AK AK forty sevens and all, and they had all police all police cars surrounding this dude like he actually did something. Mm. So you know, so this female re- recorded I think her name is Sky Hosley or something like that, and it's just sad because like. They had this mo- they had they had this motherfucker just had his hands behind his back and everything and mm, it's just, it really mm, just mm. it makes me sick. Shout to out stomach. to Sean walking in the building. I was really disappointed. Like we gotta do better, man. Like, but yeah, the police department gotta do better than that, man. Like, like we are like we are like we the ones that violate <clears throat> this motherfucker. You know what I mean? That shit mm-hmm. ain't cool, guys. Like for real, like. El Pizzo, you can deep to the heart. Like, I'm just serious. Like, put on an instrument. Y'all talking about this Black Lives Matter <laughs> shit? Like that shit's gonna El work. Pizzo, I'm that, not okay, with that El Pizzo, that's okay. Wait, that's the uncut. Come on, like, that's the uncut part. Shout out, shout out to the one and only Shine and just walked in the building. What up, God? As uh, soon as we come, you got a video loaded, LP. Ah. Uh, come on, bring a video up. You know Actually, what? put it. Do you have some? Um, Footage from Devin. Bring something up from Devin. We're going to go We're to a break real quick, have, y'all. Actually, I'm going to play one of her singles. Yes, let's do that. We're going to come back from the break, and you're going to see Houston's own Devin Kelly. And then also joining us will be Sean Augustus. What is who's, it? August? Who's, who's Augustus? August. Why did I say Sean Augustus? You know what? That's on me, trying to be all sexy and shit, whispering. <laughs> <laughs> what? Anyways, we'll have the lovely Devin Kelly in the building. You know what I mean? That's her. There she is, right here. I don't know if she can. <laughs> Damn. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and play a song, play a snippet of her song until she comes in, comes in the building. So uh, yeah, we'll be right back. Yeah. I ain't gotta worry. Let it happen to me. St. Laurent pumps, let it happen to me Bow main shades, let it happen to me Now I look around like what happened to me As soon as I wake up, hey, yo, I gotta get my cake up, hey, yo, Like money ain't a problem, hey, yo, and failure ain't an option That made me a boss bitch, hallelujah Diamonds in my cross. Week. Dripping like a model in a magazine And I can see the eyes all over me I'm camera ready when I hit the scene As soon as I wake up, hey, yo, I gotta get my cake up, hey, yo, Like money ain't a problem, hey, yo, and failure ain't an option That made me a boss bitch, hallelujah
cracks it on the hip hop show. Oh, I can hear something. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to Only Hip Hop Show with the motherfucking Only Hip Hop. Squad. So, uh, Sean, what the fuck happened to you? Nothing. I don't know. It, it looked like Blueface is next door or something. I heard some rapping and shit too, <laughs> like a fuck concert. No, it's um, what, the fuck what is that? It's called Take a Sit with the Boss. It's like a, um, where all the vendors get together. Mm. Like, the black like a mixer. Called, yeah, pretty much. I didn't know they were going to have performances, though. That's kind of lit. I didn't know they were going to have all the parking sold up. Shout out to y'all for being <laughs> packed on this <laughs> Sunday. Hey, y'all know where y'all at. Welcome back to the Only Hip Hop Show with the Only Hip Hop Squad. The full squad is in the building. Shout out to Kiefer Smotherland, wherever he is in the world. I just want to say shout out and make sure you working. If you don't know, the finals is on Kyrie. I mean, what's his name? Kawhi. The underdog is winning. It's a segue. I promise it's going to tie up. So look, if you an underdog, if you didn't been under some shit, it's your year. Shout out to Missy Elliott. She's seen the quote. It's an underdog year. So if we pulling for Kawhi, we pulling for everybody that ain't won in a long fucking time and they need a blessing. So thank you for tuning in. Jesus Christ. Yes. I heard great things about your prayer. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. okay. Not used to the prayer. That. You needed a prayer because you've been depressed on Instagram lately. Shut the but fuck anyway, up, John. thank you. <laughs> you know Six. that's a work, right? Yeah, of course, bro. I see you getting the love. Fuck out Six of here. to seven every Sunday, the only hip hop show with the only hip hop squad. Yeah. Y'all know the love of the only hip hop show. I. Hey, y'all saw me trying to hold it down. Me and I saw yo what it do newbie episode too. Did you like it? I'm a fan, bro. You know what? I'm tapped in. You know what? Okay, first of all, I, let me say that I missed you. I miss you too. Okay, good. Your presence was missed. Mm. I was ready for you to do the Jesus Christ, all that. Jesus Christ. Yes, I love that. And thank you so much. Of course. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Now tell some of my honeys that. Oh, but then. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, no. But the main <laughs> focus. Oh, the main. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Enough of all that. I'm sorry. This is not what we came here for. You I'm know sorry. what I'm saying? I know. Let me introduce, wait, let me introduce exactly. you. Exactly. Come on, wait, El Pizzle. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me, you know, let you, know you gotta be the one to put the leash on us. Let me, let me, let me say something. You know what I mean? I knew Devin Kelly for many years. You know, she's a sweetheart, you know what I mean? Mm. I love her to death, you know what I mean? You know, we actually been friends for a while, and and I'm actually proud of her, and, you know, that's why I wanted to bring her on the show, because I've been trying to get her on the show for many years now. And uh, Okay. Okay, Debbie. Yeah. Busy so, body. Uh, well, let's, you know. This is just hey for the bottom of my house. Uh, so, uh, let's <laughs> I, just no, go I ahead have been and introduce hard, Debbie though. Kelly in the building. What's that's the deal? Debbie hey. Kelly, what's up? Debbie doing? Kelly Thank in the you, building. Authentic. The Authentic. 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 Y'all, he said the prayer. He done said all this nice stuff. LaRon, you're going to have a good birthday whenever your next birthday mm. comes. Mm. <laughs> that's so nice. Don't Kelly, y'all love you all her love you, right? That's called juju. She just gave some juju. He done like, he done literally blessed the whole show. He did. You heard him praying for the city and the community. I can't wait to run this prayer back. I know. <laughs> he was praying for the 60s and everything. Like, what? Thank seriously, you. thank you. No, thank you. The choice you. of words. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Curb. I'm Look, done. I don't like Sean. I'm done. I'm done. I, I, I missed him, but I, I'm done. I'm done. I think his ass. You guys are awesome. Devin, okay. Being from Houston, coming to LA, was H that a time. culture shock? No, not really, because really? I feel like LA is everything you dreamt of and a little bit more so when you come here like okay so it's kind of what you see on tv mm. but kind of a little bit more so i wasn't shocked i was more like excited like okay this is it this is what i saw see you know? now when i was in houston even the gang bangers was like ma'am and opening doors and all that that's right. what i always say yeah okay so like what it's are some a, it's a lot of love in houston like yeah. it's a lot of love and like genuine love from everybody excuse me give a chair to my mama like if mm -hmm. i go somewhere and it's not an extra chair dudes will get up and give us a seat mm. you know so i love that what so, about here because I don't, don't do I mean, this. No, no. I know, I know, I know. Don't it, it, even mention Don't do it. You know what I mean? Don't do it. Let me listen to Devin. I'm trying to listen to Devin. There's a few gentlemen here and stuff, but for the most part, here is a place where you learn to demand your respect. Girl. Mm. In Houston, you don't have to really ask for respect. It's taught. Out here, you demand your respect. I so love it's just a how you put level. that. I love how you so put that. So, would you pick one out of the two? No. 
I would put them Got both it. together. Got yeah. It. And the combination. <laughs> put them together. Okay, H-Town cool. to Cali like Robert Ori. You know what I'm saying? But. Are you, you're here here? Like you moved here? You live here now? I live here, but okay, I go cool. back and forth. I always okay. go back to see my parents, get things in order. I recorded a couple songs off my project in Houston as well. Okay. Yeah. Do you like live like LA South Central LA or are you like that upper? No, you know <laughs> what? Let me not even go there. <laughs> no, just kidding. I'm downtown. Yeah. I'm downtown. Okay. I love downtown. I like to look at the city. I like to look at the freeways, you know what I'm yeah, saying? And really yeah. feel the entire vibe. So I'm okay. downtown now. I love it. Since you speaking of looks, you look amazing, girl. girl thank you, you need girl. to shout out whoever your Fox. MUA was. Like. Oh, Fox. I did my makeup. Girl, shut up. Fox. This is the year of doing this shit yourself. I finally it learned. <laughs> After like years and years of going to makeup artists and, you know, being picky and saying fix this, fit that, right. I said, you know what? I gotta learn how to do this myself. You're not lying, cause I feel like can't nobody do my lips like me. No, they always do the line look. No, I want my line to match the actual lip line. You know what? <laughs> take this to music, because Sean, <laughs> take this to music, because I will talk about. I woke up like next. this, y'all. You but, see me? <laughs> I'm my shit. You know That's me? why he was late. You know. <laughs> Right, getting this shit wow. in. You should have got pimp slap, Sean, but <laughs> they you just got the hook this the- time. <laughs> Damn. Hip-hop, <laughs> only hip-hop show. We are here on some music shit. Yes. You make music, we just blasted your single. Yes. Okay. Sounded great. Thank yes. you so much. I appreciate y'all so much. Mm-hmm. I really do. Now, Houston to L.A., what has that done? We know the queen made that jump. So she set the bar. Right. Yes. So I want to know, what, what have you learned? What lessons did you take? From home into the studio, what lessons have you take have you taken from downtown LA into the studio that changed you so far? You mean from Houston or both? From Houston and from LA. What, okay. what are two different things you take? The lesson the I take from home is just to really be myself, be genuine, be kind to people. Always speak first. You know what I'm saying? Just the, the little things really count because the mm-hmm. gift is already in you, but what what you put on top is who you are. You know okay. what I'm saying? Mm. So I make sure I always bring me. Okay. Yeah. You know? I like that. Yeah. I like that. Shout out to all the divas from Houston. Uh, being Beyonce, Kelly Rowland, Megan Thee Stallion, killing it right now. It's just really, it's a really Who exciting is that? Time. I keep hearing her name. Who is that? She Dude, got this one song serious? called Freak Nasty. Puts me in a whole different mood. <laughs> Let me look this up. I, I wish you I could play that. No I know, I know. Can we, can we, I it's her. worth the bet. I want to get yeah. her on a song, period. Like, you know, and I she's going to be at V, are you, you live out here. So yeah. she's going to be at V Live, I think, for the BET weekend. Oh, okay. You know. We should go. We could go. I don't do well at strip clubs. I started Is that a strip? Oh, me. Either. Yeah, I don't, I don't do, do well at strip clubs either, either because I girl. know real females, like, no matter what they do, like, in the world. So to me, I just want to see a girl in, like, a real environment. And then we can talk about how you get the money. You know what? Let me ask you this because Houston, don't they have a lot of popular strip clubs out there? They do. It's kind of like a, it's just a part of the subculture and hip hop. I'm a pop artist, so I, you know what I'm saying? I don't really dive in that, but I know girls who dance and stuff, and they cool. Even though you being a pop artist, do you ever feel compelled to, like, twerk a little bit more for the extra? <laughs> no, because we, no, Devin. They twerk only on their birthday. Is that a thing? No, I do, too. I, but I think that's, like, the whole classy ratchet mix. That's cool, though, okay. twerking on your birthday. But, like, on a Tuesday, on what a t- are you random? doing? No, no, not Tuesday, because that's Taco Tuesday, but, like, on a what? Go loco. Go loco <laughs> for the topic. I mean, go loco. But like on a Thursday, I mean, what are you doing? I think twerking is just a it's a vibe that you have with your music. You know what I'm saying? And I like to really deliver the song. Not from mm-hmm. behind, but from the front. Right. <laughs> but I mean, to each his home, and I think it's popping. I think it's fun. It looks fun. I do it at the club and stuff. You won't really catch see me twerking too much, but maybe the vibe will change soon. Who knows? All right, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So I want to know participation. The game is crazy right now. We seeing women doing all kind of stuff. Yes. You know, good and bad, you know. So, shout out to the two sides. So, I want to know how where do you fit and what makes you different? And why should we pay attention to you opposed to what was her name? Megan the Fox? Stallion. It's not opposed to nothing okay. first of all. Cuz she no, from the same place. Not right? on no level to me can you compare two women. We're all so different and mm-hmm. every woman I met is so immensely talented. So it's no really comparison. It just is what it is. Okay. And I just try to be myself and just try to bring write a good song, tell a good story, be truthful and sing it well mm-hmm. and I'm gonna be who I am. You know what I'm saying? I've been this girl since I was a little kid. So. Girl, so, I love that response because it's always like a unspoken competition Facts. and it's not you know it's, it's really not, it's not. It's, dead. it's really it's over. not I, I even watch how like i love how like the younger the female rappers like 
um, they're coming together and they're being kind to each other and they're banding together, you know. I love to see uh, Ariana Grande and Victoria Monet, just girls coming together to get. That's how mm-hmm. we do it. The dudes have been leveling up together for Period. years. For years. Years. That's why I was like, girl, you want to go together? You know what I'm saying? We got to be on that. No, you know what? I like that. And don't play because I really take people up on the invitations. <laughs> I'll be like, what you doing tomorrow? <laughs> it's going to be an excellent weekend. That BET weekend is coming up. It's going to be popping. It's really lit for you. When know what I'm saying? Everything. It's not it's just not Black June Hollywood 28th? either. June 28th? June 20th? It's around that. I don't want to say we the date because I, I don't no, know. No, Laron, look that yeah. up. Look that up. We got to go. go. I know y'all got to be there because yeah. hip hop yeah, has had a huge, huge last few years. Like It's been crazy. Mm. I'm just trying to join the force as black girl pop comes to the surface. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying What's to join the force. What's black girl pop, though? It's like, you know, the Don Richards. The, like I said, I mentioned this girl named Victoria Monet. Mm. is black girls who are urban, but we still sing like rhythmic, up tempo music, too. And it's okay. We still hip hop. We still black. Yeah. It's no difference. It's music, and we can do it all. You can do classical music if you want to. On you Jesus, you can do anything. No you limit. Want. Old no Town limit. Road. You, right, exactly. Yeah, you can we do a country that's record. That's, that's hip. That's on every hip hop station anywhere Facts. you go. Every child in every elementary school knows Old Town Road. You can do anything you want to do. Don't be limited to nothing. Nobody's standards that people set for you because they don't know. Because if they knew, they would be doing it. Girl, look at you. Period. Inspiring. Ooh. Period. Oh, <laughs> Let's talk about the album. Is it an album? It's EP. All right, so EP. Let's talk yeah. about the EP. Let's. You recorded. You said two songs in Houston. Um, I recorded two songs in Houston. All the rest of them okay. here. Yeah. Before we even get to that, we even, we skipped a big ass step. Can I rewind it for a second? Go go go. All right, cool. We the only hip hop show. Right. And the first question we start off is, who the fuck is Devin Kelly? So right. you have to answer that. I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna say it a little bit more gangster. Oh my god. But get your, so you know what I mean. Sure, Gear up. So, so sure. I prepped you, and now we gotta shoot. <laughs> who the fuck is Devin Kelly? Devin Kelly is, she is a singer, songwriter, music artist. She's a giver, a lover, a positive thinker, and just a, a force. And I, I'm not just mm. like a force to be reckoned with uh, against other people. I'm a force in myself. Mm. You yes. know what I'm saying? Because when you're a force in yourself, you're going to go. It don't matter who say no. It don't matter who say whatever. It's always a yes. Period. In, in the proper direction. So yes. that's what I am. Yes. So Ooh. before Did one more before that? we get to the before we get to <laughs> I'm the like, I want to hire you. Can she be Girl, I'm like, <laughs> Leron, I'm taking her. This is what I love job. right here. That's the love. That's <laughs> the love. Go, 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 go. Yeah. On just asking, just to help me out. You know, um, musically we go through those lazy days. We get in the studio and it's like, damn. What inspires you? What can push you past, you know, that little let's see, that little delay or that little laziness what what can push you past that um what pushes me past like i guess complacency is seeing Ooh. success and knowing that it's impossible and that i could do the same thing too anything that anybody can do no matter how much money is attached to it no matter how many connects somebody has mm-hmm. i can do that same thing and you can wa- you're gonna watch me do it okay. you know what i'm saying so that's what keeps me from being complacent and stagnant Girl, got you got me over here glowing like script. the highlight. Got a bag in this Girl, motherfucker. What's up, y'all? You got me glowing like the <laughs> highlight. That trophy wife right, right here. Right, I'm over you here like. Trophy wife. Oh, I'm starstruck. I love it. Shout out to Fenty Beauty. It's that trophy wife right yes, here. Trophy shout wife. Shout out to Fenty Beauty. <laughs> shout out to all the available wifeys out there, side and um, <laughs> otherwise. So let's talk about God Made Me a Boss. Yes. Boss. Loving the title. Yes. First of all, where did you, Where? what was the inspiration for that title? Well, you know how you go out in the world, even growing up, you tell people ask you what you want to do and you tell them and they think that, oh, maybe your your aspirations are too big or yes. who's, who said you can do that or who yes. told you you could have a solo or who told you you could be the boss mm. and the leader. And I said, mm. well, God told me. Boss. How about that? Question. Don't question me. Question Nobody the creator. Can question you know that. what I'm saying? Period. That's how I feel. And it's. It, I thought about it, and it's kind of like a sarcastic response for somebody who wants to question your leadership or question your aspirations. But it really sit with me because I'm like, you know what? That's how I really feel. Like, but that's really what it is. Yeah, that's we're how I really we're feel. destined, mm-hmm. you know. And I love, and I think that everybody is destined. But when you believe in it, that's how it really comes yeah. to be true, mm-hmm. you know. Facts. Girl, Facts. look at you. <laughs> y'all. No. Y'all she got the script, it. but hold she on. Does. We got to go script. off script. This is who I am. Okay, okay, okay. This is okay, really okay. who I am. Okay. I'm from H-Town. We come with a whole different breed. Because you said I smell danky. <laughs> what you And saying? you in L.A. now. So I need to know, can you just elaborate on the danky? Is that good or bad? Like, should I, no, what should I, I do? No, I was saying that you smell like an herbal essence. Maybe like you lit an incense before look you walk in or something. Look at that. Mm. 
responding in class. Shout like. out to YSL <laughs> and the weed man. You know what we talking about? If you mix it, Jesus Christ, y'all know what we on. Um, listen, we going right to a break. We got Devin Kelly. We got by the bag riding this hey. motherfucker. You faded? This nigga. Oh, Hey. Video for us. <laughs> hey, we coming right the fuck back on the Only Hip Hop yeah. Show with the Only oh, Hip Hop Squad. Uh, okay, we're gonna that. play a little bit of my video for my next single, Like a Star. It's Afrobeat inspired mm. and it's super. You got two lit. singles out? Yeah, yeah. She said she needs to play. She ain't, ain't playing. You didn't She's pay attention? Fat. She ain't playing, bruh. I'm not playing. Hey, let's get it. Afrobeat is on the rise right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. With Africans, it's already been popping. But like I've been hearing, why you laugh? Because I, I said with the Africans. Yeah, you got a problem with the Africans? I like the Africans. I don't think Africans. so. You know, my mama said fifteen percent Nigerian. Okay. See. Okay. 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 Yeah. See. And I think that um, as of late, I've been hearing a lot of Afrobeats on a lot of our LA hip hop, you know, um, mm -hmm. stations. So. I think you're right up the you you're right up the perfect alley with that. I'm excited. I'm excited about it. Take me to Africa. I want to go to Lagos. Okay. <laughs> I want to be a real Shout nigga for Nigeria. a second. Can I be a real nigga? You I know, care. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Care. We had like a twerk episode like two weeks ago, so I don't know. Anyway, but it's bittersweet because I know you, and you're fully clothed in that video. You know, and that's something that I want to respect and honor you for, you know, and playing this game. That's why I want to ask you about your participation. I want to know where your mind is at, because I know you see it. You see what we see when we scroll, you know, you know, the game that we play. So what's your mindset, mind state going into that? I just want people to have something to look forward to, you know, and if I feel like I'm going to have a really, really long. Keep it down, y'all. Keep it down. Keep it down. Keep it down, y'all. If I feel like I'm going to have a super long career and it's going to be prosperous, then why give everybody everything right now? Why can't I just preserve some of my stuff and grow with my audience? You know what I'm saying? Because some of my audience is going to be twin something like me, but some of my audience might not be that old and I want to be able to grow with them yes. as well. No, I don't want to like give well. everybody everything, but I got it. You know what I'm saying? I'm always stoned up, always showing my stomach or whatever type <laughs> Yeah. But I don't want I want to be able to grow. I feel like I'm gonna have a super, super long career and I wanna be able to like You don't wanna sell yourself yeah. short so Yeah, quick. I wanna be able to further express. Y'all yes. might see me in like a couple magazines like, oh snap. Damn, she snapped. had all that. Yeah, yeah. but or she snapped. It, 
that's what I got in me, and I want to just be able to grow and chill. But, you know, I turn up, I go to the club, I wear what I want to wear, but, you know what I'm saying? I, I sell it how I sell it, and that's it. But the career is strategic. Everything that you, okay. It's, it's strategic. I definitely have a plan. God has a plan for me, and we going, we doing it. So grow right. it, grow with you as an artist, and yes. you'll grow with everything. You'll see yes. everything change, yes. and it yes. go because it's going to happen. It's, it's getting bigger. Like, it's levels to it. Like, I went from nothing to having singles to having a video to having a whole project and then another project. So, it's levels, and I'm just playing my levels. You, you know, know y'all, I'm not I am just... I am just so overjoyed with you, girl. Because usually I have so much to say, but I know my viewers is like, this bitch is so quiet. Because I'm just like, oh my God, this is so. <laughs> I really love your attitude. I love yours too. Y'all got a good vibe in here. I oh, do come we? Back. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. You know, we try. Thank Can you. I get an air high five? Because we really try. Yeah. <laughs> No, but look, so, okay, tell the people, shut up, Leron. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> look, tell the people before we go to another break what you have, what's up to come for you and how they can find you, especially me because I need your Instagram so we could, you know? Okay, so I have a lot of things going on. Of course, my EP is out, 25 minutes of awesomeness, but um, I have my selfie lights, which are super awesome. I know you see me with it earlier. Oh, I, that's you? Lights. Yeah, this is I my wonder. product. I have my selfie lights and I have my uh, my eyelashes, which are my new merch items that are on my website. So, so what do we do? Go to your Instagram to get the selfie lights? You can go lights? to my Instagram at Devin Kelly Official or you can go to my website, DevinKellyOfficial.com. You can get a selfie light or oh, some shit. mini lashes. Okay. Uh, yeah. I like Real this. niggas don't pose in selfies. Wait, let, just me, stand uh, up. let me get a little. You guys are great. I, I wish I brought another one so you could use one too. I know. Yeah, Wait, it's no, three levels of lighting. So I always I always like to give something, you know, with the music. I don't like to just come with the music. Like last time I had a Christmas project, I had t-shirts. So this time I have myself the likes of my lashes. So you know what I'm saying? It's all it's a whole package. It's a whole package. Yeah. Am I doing it right? With the yeah, you got it right. Okay, okay. You know I gotta put Don't that. steal my <laughs> selfie. Hey, look. If you know us, we here, we a family. Everything we do, we support each other. Make sure you follow Devin Kelly. Make yes, sure you follow me. everything she's doing. Become a fan. Tap in. You answer DMs. Yes. Uh, Some of them, huh? It depends, it depends. Do you follow back? I do follow back. I'll do follow you follow you everybody back? back? Yeah. Yeah. I don't follow don't everyone follow back. I don't follow everyone back, but if I see that you have something going on or you supported me, I might just follow you back. I like your pictures and stuff. Okay. <laughs> I'm blocked by Follow way, back, so y'all. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Devin Kelly and this motherfucker. LP, take us to a break, man. We right back man, with Big Bag you, by the Bag Rack. Give me in a fucking break and shit. What the fuck, bro? Damn. Anyways, we'll be back with Conrad. You know what? I'm going to play a classic song from Conrad. You know what I mean? It's, the, it's funny because the same beat that he used is the same beat for I See a Couple Haters. Ain't that a trip? Like, that's some crazy shit, right? But I'm going to play it still going. That's a classic fucking song right here. You know what I mean?